So let's talk about the installation of your Platinum Turf Package. Super easy. You have with the package 12 small, one by one rubberized squares. You also have with it eight of the larger two by two rubberized squares, along with a place for your brush T inlay to lay, which are two other separate tiles. So you have 12 of the one by ones, eight of the two by twos, and then two two by two tiles molded to fit your brushed T hitting area. Real easy to put together. So we have on the outside, we have 12 of our one by one tiles with our putting cup at the very end because your ball is going to come back this way with your Pro Series net. And then we have the two by two tiles next to them. You're hitting base. And again, if I'm a lefty, okay, I'm gonna flip this so that I'm hitting this way, my lefty. So this is gonna be my stance area flipped on that side. So again, with the Platinum Turf package, you could have righties, lefties, it doesn't matter. It's a modular design specifically to handle any golfer's needs. So, you've got the rubberized base installed, okay? And that should be a real simple process. Once the rubberized base is installed, then you're gonna basically lay out your turf on top of the rubberized base itself. And I'll start with the putting surface to show you how that works. So the putting turf, as I outlined, is a little lighter weight turf. It's about a half inch to three quarters of an inch thick. And I'll lay it out first so that it's inside the grid and it fits my putting cup and flag just perfect. All right, perfect. So we have our putting cup installed into our putting turf. Okay, now I'm gonna take my brush T hitting area and I'm gonna place it into the molded rubberized fitting for it. And I just wanna make sure that I'm closest to the uh, putting surface edge. So I have a nice smooth surface for the return of my ball. So I'll place this right up against that edge there and then literally drop it right in. But what I want to do is I want a nice smooth surface for that ball to return on back to the tip. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to take my performance turf and I'll drop this in as well. Important note, when you receive your turf, it's going to be rolled up. It's going to come in four individual boxes. It's pretty heavy. But the turf is going to settle once it gets warm, heated up, and unrolled. So initially, you'll see it's bunched up a little bit here, but that's gonna settle down over time because it basically came straight out of the box. So that's the installation of your performance turf. Now let's install your fourth piece of turf, which is your stance mat. All right, now that my stance mat is installed, I'm just gonna wanna let this turf sit for a while and settle so it gets nice and flat and settled in to the rubberized base itself. That'll usually take two to four hours usually. 